Hello everybody, it's Brett from NewMap. I'm going to make some unofficial tutorials while we work on making some more professional uh, videos as the software gets a little bit further along. Right now we're in what I would call uh, prototype or alpha. So this video is for those of you who are brave enough to join our pioneering activation community to start playing and giving us feedback and co-creating with us and making new map your own as well as ours is for everybody so I'm just gonna jump right in <clears throat> in order to get onto new map right now you can come through different portals so this is like communities we call them synergy hubs will have their own portals into new new map right now this is the official uh, new map itself portal who the uh, co-founders and visionaries have their own take on new map and how we're going to use it so we're building the software for everyone to use it differently but we have our own vision too so that is what's called meta hub here's another example uh, some friends of ours out here in Rotterdam we call the Maystern Foundation this is their synergy hub and we are co-creating with a beautiful community called United Earth and this is the hub that we are working on with them. So I'm going to start here at meta.newmap.com. That's meta with two T's. You can come here up in the top right corner. There's a login. You put in your username and password and you are logged in. So the first thing I want to talk about are some of the simple things like creating holons and mapping them, edit, editing, editing them giving access privileges, copying and pasting, and your basic layout here. So the first thing I want to share is that on a PC, I use Control plus or minus, I think it's Command on a Mac, to work with the resolution here. And you can also slide this panel over to get the look that you like. So this will change when we get the software further along and be different in all the browsers. Right now, Chrome is absolutely the best browser to use. I believe we're working on Safari. Um, Firefox usually comes up with issues and then sometimes it doesn't. So stick with Chrome if you have an option. All right, so now that I've got the resolution that I like and I have this where I like it, you can also adjust this comments and co-creation area like this. Left click, dragging it up and down, letting go. You see there's a bug here, so I've got to click it. It didn't want to be dragged. Sometimes you have to actually click it like that, and it goes up and down, and now it can be dragged. So you'll play with that, and you'll learn the ins and outs of the prototype and give us feedback and let us know how we can make things better, of course. So the first thing you need to know is your me hold on. This is the, where we encourage people to share the gift of themselves. What you do is you hit this plus button on the outer ring here. And this opens up a palette of holon types that you have a choice of right now to map into this holon, to your me holon. So for example, it says skill here. If I left click, hold down and drag, and then release, it maps it into my holon. You'll see on the right here is all the information related to the holon that I'm looking at. In this case, this blank skill holon I created. So here you can choose a file, which is the background image. You see I have the Milky Way here. So you get to put an image in. The best size is 450 by 450 and always square. So 400 by 400 um, and other sizes will work. You'll have to experiment. You've got a title, you've got a simple WYSIWYG here to add some content. You can add website URLs and YouTube videos. URLs are embeds, both of them usually work. And then hit save changes, and there it is here. You can move it around by left clicking and dragging. I'm using a mouse pad, by the way, so when I say left clicking, I'm using that button and I'm holding it down and dragging with the mouse pad. So I'm just going to drop it here for a second. You'll see here it's highlighted. I can use this to make it bigger and smaller. And you'll see here in the right info pane is the information related to that. A test, skill hold on type, and a test. 
If I left click this one, you'll see it's a golden innovation home on type and it's got a different description. And some of them have videos embedded inside of them. These are all the way down here. And then what you always need to remember is to use this I button. This means information pane. If you're seeing information in this pane that doesn't seem to relate to what you're clicking over here on the left, it means you're probably not on I, and you also need to be on content in this space here. So in order to see the information that relates to this whole line that's highlighted, you must be in content, which is in information. So that's really all you need to know about creating holons in UMAP right now. You click the plus to open up the palette, and then you have this choice. You see if you hover over, it tells you what kind it is. And then you drop and drag it right like that. And it opens up automatically to be edited. Now, if you want to edit a whole line you've already created, you simply highlight it. See, like I did here. I can click into it, that's a double click, and I hit the small pencil up here in the right corner, and again I'm brought back to this, where I can edit the information there. Now I'm going to zoom out by either clicking on that, you can also zoom out by left clicking out here on the outside, you can also right click. So now you know how to map a specific holon type into the middle of a holon. Now def by default, when you map a holon in your me holon, and you go over here in settings, it will show you anyone can see that holon. By default, anyone can see it, it's public, and you are the only editor. You can change these privileges and there'll be way more options in the future about how you can dictate um, what goes public and to whom and how you share it and who can edit it and whatnot. So you'll see I'm going back to the content button so I can get back to the information related. Now the second thing I'm going to show you is the storage holon. This is like your me holon, except when you drop and drag and create a holon, this time if you check settings, you'll see that only you can access it and only you can edit it. So this is your private spot where you can bookmark things, where you can create holons and holarchies and start playing with creative ways of expressing yourself. So you'll see this is my storage holon. I've got holons that I like to look at and things I'm going to be using. And if I have a new idea, I'll map it in here like my easel. And right now, third, you have the co-creators holon. This is a uh, the way my brain organizes my friends on new map and my co-creators. So these are your three main holons right now. Co-creators, storage, and me. And when you're in a synergy hub, you still see your me holon and your storage holon. All right. The next thing to share is how to copy and paste your holons, and this is really simple. I'm going to highlight a holon by left clicking it. I'm going to hit C on my keyboard. No control, no alt, just C on my keyboard. And then I'm simply going to go into another holon anywhere in UMAP, and I'm going to hit V on my keyboard. Again, no control, no alt, or anything, just hitting V on my keyboard. Now that same exact holon is in two different places. It's out here and it's in here. It could be anywhere in UMAP. It's the same content, the same exact hold on. It's just in two different places at once. Copy and paste, very important. So what you're going to do in UMAP when you first start creating a couple hold ons you want to come back to, or if you need to refresh because it gets frozen a lot, you need to refresh. You need to be able to copy and paste any hold on that's important to you into your storage hold on. So you know if you refresh or you sign in another day, you can come back here and you'll find the holons that you were working on. And then you can organize them in different ways. So, for example, I might just create this general anything holon and write 
Monday and then put all the things I was working on on Monday in there. There's obviously a million different ways to see how your brain works. Um, you can move holons like this, one into the other. You can move them out. It will take it a level up to where it came from. It's very simple and straightforward when you're working here at, at this level. Just drop and drag holons into each other. Now they're all here. Now as a beta user, you should be aware you're going to quite often lose holons by putting them by moving them around like this and it'll disappear into here. So if you see a holon missing, you know it should be there. Check the surrounding holons and check the level above it because it may have gotten moved out of the holon. That's a tip. You can also delete holons on new map. They are not gone forever right now. So if you accidentally delete something, you'll be able to find it. You'll probably need a little bit of help from us, maybe. But if you create something beautiful and you delete it by accident, don't fret. Just be careful for now. So you see, if I hit this red button, it deletes the hold on that's highlighted. So sometimes by accident, you may try to erase something like this and have highlighted something like this by accident and then deleted it. And then you kind of freak out, but we'll help you find it. And if you remember um, the title, like test here, it's also much easier. So sometimes you want to pay attention. You want to be really conscious with the delete button on new map right now. Um, we still have to add a rubbish bin where you can find the deleted hold on. So. Be aware of that. All right, this here is what's called the resonate function. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about another time. Um, this will be the share for sharing holons. You can watch holons so you get updates when they get changed or when people comment. Um, this is not working right now, and this is not working right now. Um, another really cool thing to pay attention to is the comments and co-creation area of new map. So any holon can be commented on and any holon within any holon. So every holon in the whole system of new map is like a post or a share somewhere else because they're all interactive, viral, they can be shared. So you can comment in a thread and you can also label it an intention, a resource, or an action, or a passion. So this way we create a gift economy more easily and more organically as we share and network with each other we can just organize our replies a little bit it will help the synergize engine of new map facilitate co-creation and reveal co-creation so uh, i'll show more about this another time but one great thing is when people comment in thread you can link that hold on to whatever hold on you're looking at here so technically if i see someone here that shared a resource of um, 100 acres for permaculture. I would maybe go over here and find the hold on where I know somebody needs that um, resource and then, oops, I messed up there, that's my fault, yeah. And I'd be able to link this comment specifically or this intention or this vision into any other hold on in the all of new map. Um, it's working nicely now on a very basic level. Um, you can test that out and see how that works. Um, we also have a chat new maps. So you can start a new conversation if you know the person's username. Simply do pan and then send a note and hit enter on the keyboard and it sends this. And every conversation, chat conversation new map is also a hold on itself. So you can copy and paste the conversation or share it with uh, other people at some point if that's something you'd like to do. Every hold on also has its own URL within new map so it can be embedded and shared as a whole on as one whole on or as part of the whole archy any whole on can be given a URL so you just go into the settings and you name it and you set the address and that's it down here it says if a whole on has an address already it'll say down here we use tilde as a sort of hashtag or HTTP sign we use tilde for new map so tilde me dot Brett will bring you to my new hold on. Just having a little bit of a bug. Um, you can do a search right now. I'll type in energy. 
see what comes up. So you can link these to different holons. So you see something interesting, you can link it to your storage or you're building a holon for co-creating something. You can just start searching new map and seeing what people are putting out there and then start linking it and painting a picture of a co-creation, almost like flash synergy overnight. Um, crowdsourcing. You'll have a lot of ideas when you start thinking about what this means and playing with it. Um, if some, You can also tag people now. So at Brett, if someone tags you, you will get an alert here, and this will say someone has commented or whatnot, and you'll be able to click on that. I don't have any alerts right now. And finally, I think I'll show you the last two things. We have something called the Synergize button, which right now is only connecting similar holon types. So if I am on a hub and I click Synergize, Oh, this one doesn't want to work. Let's see. Intentions. Yeah, so here. So I put synergize on an intention. What it brought up is potential synergy of 100 other 87 intentions. Obviously, in the future, this is going to kick ass because it's going to synergize like with a passion for filmmaking. It's going to bring you skills, resources, intentions, and visions, and ideas, and questions all relating to what you want to co-create, what you want to be and bring in the world. So the synergize button will be different than the actual uh, search. And over here is Nula. That's Chris's passion is AI with a heart. So she will be available at some point to start helping us map and ask us questions and check the news feed and all that good stuff. Good now. Well, I know I've been talking for quite a while now, so... I guess the best thing you can do is watch this video and hopefully you've been pausing it and you have new map open in another window and you can sort of go back and forth and follow along. I'll put a note about that inside the um, description of the video so everyone's aware of that. That may be the best way to go about it. And um, if you're on new map and you want to contact me, you send me a conversation, a chat, just to Brett and then send me a thought or a question or whatever you'd like. Um, I'll make some more videos about where you can find some of these other holons so you can start seeing how people are applying some things and some of the comments they're leaving and whatnot. So if you get this far and you want to see more and you've learned how to map, see once you learn how to map you can start sharing yourself, sharing your skills and your passions and uh, your visions and intentions. We'd love you to start sharing that with the rest of the community with us. That's the number one thing you can do to, so we can start building this database up so we can all synergize across the planet. Um, so you're off and running to do that with what I've showed you so far and you just send me a message and I'll send you some links if you want to see some other things like all these whole lines that I'm looking at here and in my storage and whatnot. Alright, I hope you have a great night. Take care.